Hey everyone! Today I'm going to build this Robo Dino! This is from Jurassic Park Universal Studios. It's got a really cool picture of a Spinosaurus right there, but I don't know why, because it's a T-Rex robot. It's got real walking action, eyes light up, easy to assemble, no glue required, everything included to build your robot. Build a remote control T-Rex. Warnings? It needs some batteries. I don't know where I'm going to get those. I hope I have some batteries. Let's take a look at the box. The three sides, the four sides are kind of the same. Let's see, it's got some more information about the batteries on the back. You can pause it if you need to read that. Here's some information about where it came from. No, it's got no barcode. And some more information right there. And the picture of all the pieces. All right, let's get this thing open and check out the parts. Okay, I think that's everything in the box. We have an instruction manual. Sorry if I'm hitting the camera. Pretty detailed instructions. Let's put that aside for now. Okay, we have some cardboard. And a bag of parts. Let's see. I hope all the parts are here. Probably. Okay, everything's in little bags. Let's see. Here is the body. So you can kind of tell how big it's going to be with the tail. Here's some feet. And some legs. Okay, we have tail and looks like some arms and maybe some teeth. I don't know. Something. Okay, what is this? Motor electronic stuff. Be careful with that one. Okay, and then we have screwdriver and screws. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna leave that in the bag because if I don't they're gonna go everywhere. All right, so let's check out the instructions. Okay, that's not a step. Okay, step number one is get the body and uh, the gearbox. And the electronics. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to open this up. And let's find the gearbox. I think it's this. Oops, such pieces coming off of it. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to take this and let's see. I think this one and the sound one. Okay, so they want me to hold it like this direction. Sorry if I'm not on camera, I'm trying to look at the instruction booklet. Alright, so... It looks a little bit in the different in the instructions, that's why I'm having a hard time. They've drawn it differently than it looks. Alright, so this one goes in here. And this one goes in here. Once again, sorry if I'm go off camera. I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Okay, that's yeah. I, I'm gonna have to not look at the camera either. Okay, I have to actually look at my hands to get that in. All right, so next we have to take. Okay, it wants me to get the lights and attach it to the speaker. So is there an attachment here? Yes, there it is, right there. And it goes like that. I think. Okay, and then you're supposed to take this whole thing and get the body. And let's see, I think it goes this direction. Like so. Okay, so speaker kind of goes into this circular area. Let's see. Where does this wire go? Okay, I don't know how well it's supposed to fit. Um, it's kind of loose in there. I think the wire's in the way. Okay, they have the wire kind of going over it. Okay, that's better, I think. Alright. Now what? 
Now they want me to put the switch or the connector in here. That's where the remote control connects to. Okay, the wires keep getting in the way. Doesn't really fit. The wire is like blocking the plastic. There we go. Every time, every time you hook something up, you have to move the wire out of the way. Okay, where do the lights go? It doesn't say. I think I have to go to the next page. Hmm. Okay, it says to put the teeth in. Uh, are they both the same? I think. Yes. I can't tell the difference. Not really. Okay, hopefully they're the same, so I'm going to put one in here. Maybe they are different. Let's try putting this one in here. Yes, that one fits better right there. And oops, that one fits good in there. Yeah, this one I think is wider and that one's narrower. Sorry, I'm hitting the camera. All right. So then they want me to put the tail together or take it apart. Well, it's already together. And put it in here. And what do they want? What about the lights? They're telling me they have a picture of putting the body together first and then they say to do the lights. That doesn't make any sense. All right, so I'm going to first put the lights in before putting the body together like so. Okay, make sure this is still in there good. Put this back where I want it. Okay, when I close this up, is this wire going to be a problem? I don't know. Uh, actually, the wire doesn't really reach. How am I going to make the wire reach all the way to this? I think the only way to get it long enough would be to put it at the top, but the wires are in the way. Okay, now it's long enough, but it's not really fitting down here because I'm, I'm jamming this wire into that area. Alright, so is that in the hole? I can't really see. I think it is. Okay, put this back where it was. It's hard to hold all this together. Okay, that's good. Wires in. Light in the eyeball. Okay, now I'm going to try to put this. All right, so first most important thing I think is getting the eye light LED in. Okay, hole is right here. Uh oh, the tail. Tail, half, it's going away. Here it comes. Okay, let's try this again. Please go in there. Doesn't want to go in. I think the teeth are a problem. Okay, maybe if I concentrate on getting the teeth in first. Okay, let's hold it like this. The problem is I can't see what I'm doing when I'm looking through the camera lens. So right now I'm actually looking around the camera. Okay. Is the LED going to be squished in there? I hope not. Oh, it looks good. Except for this wire. Okay, let's poke this wire back in there. We have a problem. What is the problem? I think this is a problem right here. Okay, let me push it a little bit. Okay. It's almost together. I think a few more problems. The camera cord is a problem. The tail not being straight is a problem. Now it's straight. 
head is on. Um, let's see, something is just a little bit not fitting in the head area. That light is in, that light is in. Why is it a little bit... Okay, it's the teeth. The teeth is, one of the teeth is crooked. This one's kind of loose. Alright, well I can fix it later. But anyways, I just want to get this together and see if it works. Alright, so I did that. Okay, next we have to put in some screws. So I'm going to lay that down. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws I need. Um, some of these are different. Okay, I need not these big ones. Let's put those aside. Uh oh, see that's what happens when I take them all out of the bag. I drop them on the floor. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we put these in all the holes. Put one in there. Like so. And let's see. Where's the other hole? Here it is up here. Up here. That's three, four. Oh, that's not right. The holes are on the other side. The drawing lies. See, look. This thing put all the screws on this side, but the holes are on the other side of the tail. So let me tighten these down. Tightening this screw kind of helps with the head not quite fitting together a little bit. Not quite though. Still some kind of problem. Still a little bit apart right there. But the screw helps. Alright, so there's two on this side now. And I'm going to have to figure out where the other one went because, oh, because I already, I only used six screws and it shows seven. Okay, here's the other one. Alright, we have a body together. Let's see. After the screws, it says to put the legs on with the big screws. Alright, we got a body. And let's see, we need the flat ones. Okay, so I think it goes on like that. So where do the screws go? The screws go in here. Okay, yep, I can't see what I'm doing again. My fingers are in the way, and the camera's in the way. Okay, let's try to do it like that. Just gonna put that one in there for a second. It's not all the way screwed down. Okay, let me get this. Is this magnetic? It would be nice if this was magnetic. No, it's not. All right. Excuse me while I do this down here. Magnetic. Look at that. They are so thoughtful. They give me a magnetic screwdriver. All 
Okay, we have both screws kind of in the hole. Let's tighten them down. I don't know how tight they should be. Don't want to mess it up. I'm thinking this one shouldn't be too tight. I think it should be able to move a little bit. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll, I'll just leave it like that. Okay. So let's do the same on the other side. Okay, sorry I'm not on the camera again, but these screws are really hard to get in when I'm holding it up in the air. I just need to start it while it's down on the table. And then I will put it back up on the camera. Okay. Here we go. Put this screw in. Not too tight because I'm worried about it not letting the leg move if it's too tight. Alright, now this one's a little bit crooked. Kind of need to fix it. There we go. Okay, when I turn the screw, it's like making the legs move instead of turning the screw, so I'm trying to hold the legs still. It's actually turning the gears of the legs. The legs want to move when I'm doing this. It's really hard to get the screw in. Ah, okay, I hope that I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose, just like the other. Well, this was a little bit too loose. But I still think it needs to be able to move. All right, I think that's good enough for now. All right, I'm gonna put the other sides of the legs on. This one. And I'm guessing this is just some regular screws because that's all I have left. It doesn't fit that great. That's kind of weird, it's very loose. Am I missing something? I don't know. Alright, let me put in the screws. I'm going to do this on the table because it's kind of being weird and not fitting together right. Trying to just get it to stay. All right, I think I think it's staying now. Let me tighten this middle one down. I don't know if you care about watching me tighten screws down. Okay, that one's tight. This one you can kind of almost see it. Oh, there, the, the, the leg just kind of snapped together. That was weird. This one's already kind of tight, I think. Maybe not. All right, so that's one leg. Time for the other leg. This one doesn't fit right either. It's weird. You'd think it would just kind of snap on. All right, one screw. I'm going to tighten that one down a little bit. Ah, that's what I get for trying to use my wrong hand. My left hand for screw driving. I'm not a left-handed screwdriver person. 
but I'm doing it anyways. It's not really going in. The screw is not working. Maybe it's just because I'm using the wrong hand. Uh, okay, let's try a different screw. And let's try this hand. And hopefully it will work better. Yep, that one instantly works. This one's perfect. So I don't know if it was my hand or the screw, but I have solved the problem. Alright, I think this is the best up screw. Let's put that one in there. It might be fine, I'm just... No, I think it's the screw. I think the screw is defective. Oh, I got it now. It's working, it's working. It's pretty tight. And the screw goes in here. Tighten that one down. Okay. Now, what does the instructions say? Next page. Yep, I did all that. Um, now is put it on the little arms, snap them into place. These arms will press fit so there are no screws required. Alrighty. I can do that. Let's see. Um, well, I guess that's it. Okay, that's, yep, yeah, that's, they're in. Alright, next is the feet. It says put a screw on the foot. Okay, so I think this one goes here. And we need one screw. There's two screws left, so good. One screw for this foot. Uh-oh. That's Sometimes magnetic screwdrivers are good and sometimes they're bad. This particular moment is bad. Okay, let's try this again. Also, I'm using my left hand again, which is always a bad idea. Okay, let's switch hands. And screwdriver recovery. Let's look around the camera, see what I'm doing. Okay, that one's on good. Foot number two. Screw number two. Let's switch hands so we don't have any problems. And screw in that screw till it's pretty tight, like so. Okay, I think our dinosaur is finished. Let's check to make sure. Okie dokie. Foot, hands, batteries. I don't have batteries. Okay, sorry, but the only batteries around here that are double A's, I think are right in here. So, sorry. I know you like your batteries. I know, I'm sorry. Is this even working? I don't know if that works or not. All right. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Feet are getting away. Batteries, out. Batteries, in. Okay. I hope this works when I put the batteries in. There's one thing I don't like. It's screwdriver having to need a screwdriver to put in batteries that's annoying okay let's take that out let's put this in here all right put this back in before I lose it because I will lose it if it, the screw is not in there within five seconds. All right, we got a long cord. Let's see, I'd say that's about two 
and a half feet long. Okay, the moment of truth. Is it going to work? I hope so. Am I putting it in wrong? Probably. All right, let's hope it works. Good luck. Okay, we got sound, I guess, and walking. Ooh, it does work. That's a weird noise. The batteries might be not good. All right, walking. Okay, I think I think these batteries are a little bit weak. Obviously, it's working, but let me. I'm gonna have to go get some new batteries or something. I don't know, because you can hear. See, here's the sound button. It's already dying. So I guess I used up all the batteries on the uh, IREX. I will go find some new batteries or go to the store and buy some. Be right back. All right, um, I got some red batteries this time. I don't know if they're very good or not, but here we go. Okay, let's try the walking. Ooh. Where's she going? She's coming this way. It's because my white surface is once again not straight. All right, so let's try just walking straight downward because this is this is actually downhill. So maybe she won't turn. She does like to turn, I think. Maybe it's the cord. Pretty cool though. Let me turn her a little bit this way. Well, I'm sure it would work better on a more flat surface. She wants to kind of lean over. If, if you can see, she's leaning. How about this direction? This should be better. She almost wants to fall towards the camera. Any second now, I think she's going to fall towards, yeah, see like just barely almost falling and sliding towards the camera. I'm sorry my thing isn't level, I can hold it up, but it's a little bit better. Let's try sounds and walking. Oh, she doesn't like that. She doesn't like sounds and walking. Can you see the eyes on you? See, she doesn't. If you're holding the walking and you hit the sound, it just stops. All right, let's try sound and then walk. Sound. Doesn't like that either. Does not like both buttons being held. I'm going to turn off the light and try to see if how the lights and the eyes look. All right, here we go. I think these batteries aren't 100% good. But you can see the eyes do light up. They'd probably be brighter if I had brand new batteries. I, I can't go to the store right now, it's like midnight. Okay, there's no lights when it's walking. Only when it's roaring. Okay, let me turn the light back on. All right, so I had a lot of fun building this and it looks really cool. I like the clear green plastic and the box is cool too if you're a collector. So if you like to build things or if you just like to collect Jurassic Park stuff, I recommend this, it's very cool. And it's a little bit rare, but once in a while you'll see them for sale. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this, but it wasn't too much. So anyways, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. I've got a lot of Jurassic Park videos and Jurassic World videos and dinosaurs and uh, action figures and all kinds of stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.